Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I review and unbox subscription boxes here on my channel and today I'm very excited to share with you the September My Ireland box which has been sent to me for review. Mainly, I am excited because this is the long-awaited sheep box. So Catherine and her team usually do a sheep theme box once a year and it is always so delightful. I don't know what it is about Irish sheep. I just loved when I was there in Ireland for about 10 days. Anytime we would come across a verdant green pasture and there were adorable sheep, sometimes with funny spray painted colors on their booties, but they were just so adorable and just so serene and they just seemed so happy in their environment. I don't know, there's something about it. Like New Zealand and Ireland, when you see sheep, you feel like you're really, you're really in it. You're really there. So, and I just really love all of the adorable sheep that have been provided for us in this box over the years. I actually went through and got all of my sheep out and I think I even have a list of all of their names because sometimes we vote on the names here on the channel. So maybe you guys can help me out if there is a cute little woolly friend in there this time around. So. This is my Ireland box. It is shipped all the way from Dingle, Ireland. It always features a recipe, which is fun, as well as a really, really in-depth booklet from Catherine, where she talks about what's going on in Ireland. She talks about traditions and history, and of course features all of the makers, the amazing artisans that contribute to this box every month. It is $49.95. US dollars per month plus shipping. The shipping all the way again from Ireland to the States is just $15.50. I do have a code that'll save you $5. It's Maui, M-A-U-I, but definitely check out the site. Maybe be a part of their mailing list. She does these really great emails, uh, little newsletters. And I think I recently saw that I'm not sure. By the time you guys see this video, you may have missed your opportunity, but if you do a three month subscription, I think they had a few little sheepies still left and you would get, get in on the sheep. So if that's still available, definitely go ahead and sign up because one, you're going to get a good deal on a three month subscription and the next few months are really good months to be subscribed to my Ireland box because one a lot of these items make great gifts and you know that there's someone in your life who has Irish heritage or just loves Ireland or loves their visit that they had there years ago or as recently as like last month or whatever it is and um, it makes great gifting but it's also just that really homey cozy time where um, I think it would be wonderful to be in Ireland during the holidays so if you you sign up now for a three month subscription I believe it is you know then it will be for October November and December finishing out the year it's a really good three months to be subscribed in my personal opinion so but let's go ahead and get into this September box yes I know that this is posting in October I did get it in the month of September but I am doing a little bit of catch up myself but I wanted to give it its own video of course because it is the sheep box so we'll open it up together so inside now they have this really pretty like dark green tissue paper and a little sticker that says my Ireland box and then I usually have to do a little bit of digging because generally Catherine's booklet that has all of the important information is along the bottom so I opened it up and there's a little bit more um, tissue uh, and then of course the recipe is usually on the bottom too. Oh my goodness you guys I'm already seeing a little woolly friend which I'll probably save for the end because I'm so excited as well as some just really nice comforting treats we always get like edible things in this box and I love them my husband is always excited when we get crisps uh, aka potato chips which you know seems very Irish as well anything potato uh, I always love like the sweet treats that we get from her and just things that make your mornings your evenings your whole month a little bit better so if you've been interested definitely check it out it is absolutely a mystery box. They do not do spoilers or anything. They have a very active Facebook group where people are always posting, I got my box. And then people are always telling them, don't post any pictures. I want it to be a surprise. But um, then people will talk about, you know, when they've made the recipes and share images from that and their time in Ireland. Some people have, some subscribers have even met up with Catherine when they've been in Ireland visiting, which I would just like love to do because she is just so sweet. And I really do enjoy taking photos of this of this box that you can see over on my Instagram 
account, which is at Maui underscore Noel. So here is, oh, that looks delicious. Here is Kathleen's plum crumble recipe, the summer dessert we've been enjoying. And that looks like a, like, like a cobbler, like a fairly easy one to do. Uh, that sounds amazing. It says, I went to Kathleen's house in Bally Ferreter, a quaint Irish speaking village here on the Dingle Peninsula during the week to watch her make this gorgeous crumble that she often brings to our house. As we were making it together, I took down the recipe. Yay, I have yet, I admit it, I have yet to make any of the recipes that have been on these gorgeous cards where they do beautiful images for them. I will, one day I will. One day when I can let go of a couple of my, I realized you guys, I have like five jobs at all times. So maybe when I like break that down and whittle it down to like two or three jobs, maybe I'll have time to do some more. Here we go, September. Irish sheep, look at that face, it's so adorable. All right, so let me go ahead. I'm just gonna look and see if they have a spoiler for next month. So it says for next month, it's hard to believe that we'll experience winter soon, but it is coming. Nature and indeed ourselves must rest so that we can rejoice in spring. With this in mind, I have a collection of Irish made surprises for you and indeed a wonderful booklet that will help you to ease into winter the Irish way. It's a cozy one with Ireland's favorites on board to relax the way our ancestors did as we do now and as we do now. I'm so excited to bring these treasures from Ireland to you in your home. Until next month, good luck, take care, and enjoy your Irish made surprises. So we didn't actually get the theme. She may have announced it in an email that I missed, but just a kind of little sneak peek. And then of course, this is what the booklet actually looks like, where she does her own photography and she writes a, like a really heartfelt letter to subscribers and then I always go ahead and skip ahead you guys can see it's like a pretty significant booklet for sure I know some of you love the stuff in the box and the booklet you could do without and then some of you like the booklet is your favorite part so luckily there's enough other items in here that if you're a subscriber and you don't happen to read the whole booklet from cover to cover you still have a lot of fun um Fun items to enjoy. So I flipped to the Let's Make the Makers section, and that is what I will reference as we go through. So let's hear about the booklet itself. She actually has this in here as a paragraph. So says, my Ireland box members write to Thomas and I all the time, even by post, to tell me how much they love the booklet and that it really makes them feel like they have visited Ireland. Whilst I absolutely love choosing all of the Irish made surprises that I include in all my Ireland boxes, what I love the most is writing the booklet. Stacks and stacks of books, friends, lie on my desk and I always welcome a new edition when I wander and peruse within the local bookshops here in Dingle or Dublin or elsewhere. They provide so much inspiration and I have a good head, good read of them before I set out to write to you all. There is certainly so much to write about when it comes to Ireland and the best way to transport you here I think is by taking you on a journey with my booklet to introduce you to the makers to tell you all about the nature within the month that we are in and to write about our ancient Irish traditions for that time also and in this is this to bring to bring tell to bring tell you a story to tell you a story of a family members from centuries ago I feel that with these booklets I'm giving you something unique I really enjoy the booklet and I hope you do too until next month I adore the October my Ireland box by the way it's a cozy one read about it below so okay so she loves the she loves the booklet and I know a lot of you do as well and then we do have a little information about the recipe so even though I already read the little blurb let me go ahead and hold this up and read to you more about it, it says cousin Kathleen is back I am so delighted as these old old family recipes are ones you keep forever and pass down through the generations get the baking tools ready this one is tasty she brought it to a family gathering that I had in my house a few weeks ago just before my sister Sorcia returned to Spain and needless to say it was devoured we all spoke about the story of the carving of the ship that I wrote about above Oops, spoiler alert um, it says and as we enjoyed the plum crumble and it was a get-together to remember I would love to see your pictures once you bake this crumble feel free to post them in the Facebook group PS if you've requested access to the Facebook group and have not been accepted will you please do me a favor and email them so they have a huge a number of requests to filter through and they have to make sure that you're a subscriber and that you should legitimately be in there so there's always rules for these Facebook groups so remember to do that if you've been trying to get your way in there so just a little heads up on that I think it would be cool just because they do these beautiful images and then there are these larger size cards which is great because then you can see all the information like on one card it would be really cool if they did some sort of book that had like plastic sleeves that we could keep these all in or just a binder or something so that I could have all of my my Ireland box um, recipes all in one place even with maybe little tabs or something because I know some people have been requesting a way to store their booklets because they have them all lined up on a shelf all right let's go ahead 
and uh, talk about some of the items. So one of the items is from Claire's. It's Irish chocolate chip shortbread cookies. So we have gotten these before and we got the ones that were just shortbread, but now they have added some chocolate chips in there. I'm super excited. It says Charles and Charlotte Lamb arrived in Ireland in the 1880s from the small Oxfordshire village of Sibbard Ferris. Charles came first to work at the Richardson's Linen Mill in Bestbrook before taking the opportunity to acquire some farmland near Rich Hill in the county of Arma, where the young couple started making jam with the fruit they grew on the farm. They had eight children. From these small beginnings, they developed the fruit preserving business that became known throughout Ireland as Fruitfield. Realizing the need to expand, three of the sons in the family moved to Dublin and in 1922 established what became the primary factory for Fruitfield. One of the brothers, however, stayed in Rich Hill and he, Charles also, and his wife Elizabeth continued to run the family farm in Rich Hill where they reared their four children. After many years of farming in 1984, following a holiday in the south of France where they saw and were inspired by a little pie shop, they decided to open a shop and restaurant in Portadown called The Pieman. In 1993, so we're getting a little more current, Farringford Foods was established to expand production of the chilled cake range which they had, be which they had begun selling in the Pyman. By 1999, Farringford Foods were also making individually wrapped cake slices and muffins. In 2015, they purchased the Grace's Irish Biscuit brand from Billy Bullock, who had established this brand some 10 years earlier. In 2019, they changed the Grace's brand name to Claire's. This delicious shamrock-shaped shortbread with chocolate chips is baked in the countryside of County Antrim using a recipe handed down through generations of bakers. It is, of course, made with authentic Bally Russian Irish butter for a gourmet flavor. The crisp, creamy taste makes these gourmet cookies a perfect treat to enjoy with tea, coffee, or hot chocolate. I was really happy to meet Gerberry in Dublin recently, and when I tasted the biscuits, I knew I'd like to send them to you within your St. Patrick's Day My Ireland box. So we got this like, old copy from the St. Patrick's box where we got the shamrock shortbread, but it is this for the September box, but this time we got the chocolate chips. Shamrock carpet the fields here in Ireland and the sheep happily graze on them. You'll be eating shamrocks galore while you cuddle your new Irish sheep this September. Yay, I'm so excited. And I have to tell you guys, I even remember those shamrock shortbread cookies that we got in March, I think. So um, they were like soft and crumbly, like not hard, but just so buttery and amazing. So I'm very much looking forward to those with the addition of chocolate chips. Also, not necessarily written here because we've had this uh, product before from this company before. We got some Berries Tea, the master blend. It comes with 40 biodegradable tea bags. So we got some tea to go along with our chocolate chip shortbread shamrock cookies. Hooray! All right, we've got a few more items to go. This is a Sheep of Ireland book. Now, how fun is that? I mean, I'm not sure like exactly where this will go because I don't really have a coffee table, but um, I'm sure it's just gonna be like a gorgeous photography book with some very charming sheep. So I'm very happy to get that. It says, I certainly could have gathered lots of my sheep images and written all about the Irish sheep within this booklet. But when I came home early in the year with this book, a gift from Elena o of O'Brien Press, well, those cute sheep just drew me in each time I glanced at it. It is a wonderful book that has been compiled by Sarah O'Connor. What beautiful pictures and information for you to enjoy whilst you sip your tea to show your children and keep pout for visitors keep out not keep pout keep out for visitors to peruse it had to be yours so we got this cute little book that you can share with folks oh look at them they look at those beautiful green fields so cute little sheep book again not totally sure what I'll do with it but it's one of those things that if I was in Ireland again I'd probably be like you know what instead of me snapping 3,000 pictures of sheep why don't I like leave it to the professionals on this one all right we also got so we also got this adorable little um coaster so we just got one perfect it says united oh my gosh and it's there's a little soccer ball there's a little football in front of them that's the cutest it says oh how i've wanted to include a whimsical sheep from this company for quite some time they are fun i use coasters a lot in my house i don't want the wood furniture ruined yet with a lively three-year-old in the house i have lost the battle and his art is everywhere and placing a cup of herbal tea or coffee on a nice happy coaster is a lovely experience enjoy this little gen when you have some time to yourself and have that cup of berries tea i'm sure it will bring you happiness artist tom stevenson has traveled 
the roads of rural Ireland, capturing the landscapes and personalities encountered on the way in his own distinctive style. His art on coasters and other homewares and prints feature a huge variety of local farm and wildlife. Although the infamous silly sheep are everywhere, their range also includes border collies, cows, horses, puffins, highland cattle, some chickens, and even a few frogs for the eagle eyed. The landscapes are stereotypical of the breathtaking views that can be found off the beaten track, whether it is mountainous backdrops, dramatic sea cliffs, or an unassuming traditional cottage by the sea. The bright colors and humorous content are guaranteed to be a talking point in any room. The originality, humor, and striking attention to detail takes the beholder on a journey from the initial curiosity to the muffled snort of laughter, then finally to the nostalgia as memories of holidays and home return, and indeed for others, a connection and love with Ireland enhanced. Now, you guys, I am with coasters like I am with drinkware where I usually appreciate a set of a pairing of a couple of them. Although I will say that because we tend to collect coasters from different pubs and bars that we go to, because my husband is quite the beer connoisseur, we do have a lot of one-offs, so this will definitely work. It does have that nice cork backing. But you can see there is a variety of these sheep uh, images. This uh, She shows like six of them here. I don't know if they come as a set, but even there it doesn't have the same one that I have. So I think there was a lot of variety, um, but I would have loved to have gotten a set of two or a set of four even of these coasters. But it does, this ma does make your special uh, coffee mug a little bit more delightful in the morning. I think that's really cute. And if you're someone who lives in the States and you actually watch uh, soccer or football, you're usually waking up awfully early to watch those games that are happening in Europe. All right, we have something that I think is gonna make my husband happy because they usually do their best to gingerly package uh, crisps. I'm guessing that's what it is. They still always come a little bit beat up uh, when they make it to me all the way here in California, but I'm usually pretty impressed. All right, we got some Kios. We love our Kios crisps. Now it doesn't have a sheep on the front, but it does have a nice cow because it is shamrock and sour cream flavored. So for those of you who aren't into the sweets and you won't necessarily be eating the shamrock cookies yourself, you did get something nice and savory. And now finally, you guys, the piece de resistance. We have our Irish made sheep. So let me just do a little um, parade of sheep from days, days gone past for you. I actually uh, got them all out. So we have my first sheep from my Ireland box and uh, Catherine herself helped me name Grania, so, which, you know, which I think means like love or heart. So that is Grania, cute little crocheted sheep. Then we had Rupert. Rupert is a sock sheep that was uh, much bigger. You all helped me name him. Then we had a more modern looking sheep, thoroughly modern Millie is why we came up with this name for this little sheepy. And then last year, you all helped me vote, and this little cutie, we decided to name Finley, which I thought was adorable. So, let's see who we have this time. Now, based on what she wrote here in the booklet, it says, please see the enclosed card in your My Ireland box that will tell you all about the maker of your very own sheep. This was handmade for you, and hence yours is unique and made with so much love in Ireland. We love ours and know that this special friend will find a perfect place in your home. So, it sounds like there might have even been different makers and different sheep designs. Look at this cutie. This is from the crochet dolls. So I got another little crocheted sheep and she's got a bell and a bow. That's why I'm going to say it's the she. So a little Kelly green polka dot bow. Look at those eyes and that face. And then it's this super soft like chenille. So you get that fluffy sheep quality. Um, so it's a different texture than her little face and ears and feet. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I'm gonna go ahead and clip this little piece of plastic before I read it to you so you can see her in her entirety because this is a keeper. As you can see, I have quite the collection, so so excited we got our little sheep box so this is I'm guessing my card yes and then it's even got the matching font so you guys have to let me know what sheep you got I would love to see pictures uh it may be in our Facebook group if you are are there or maybe in the my Ireland box the Facebook group which I am a part of so it says the crochet dolls out of Dublin it says I started Arzu's creations last year, but I was unsure if she would be able to make a huge flock of sheep for me. I bit the bullet with our treasured My Ireland Box members at the forefront of my mind and asked. She consulted with her team. I was so glad to hear that she had a team. And so at the beginning of this year, we shook hands and I knew that my search for a sheep for you and our members had ended with success. We had found the 2023 handmade she Irish sheep. The crochet dolls are headed by Arzu and she manages a small team of artisans who are passionate about creating beautiful and unique handcrafted treasures. They specialize in keepsake dolls 
and cuddly friends that are sure to bring joy to any recipient of any age. The Crochet Doll Keepsake Doll and Cuddly Friends are the perfect companions from Ireland made with soft and durable yarn. These items are sure to become favorite Irish friends. They're so cute. The team are committed to creating products that not only bring joy to those who receive them, but also to making a positive impact on the world. That's why the Crochet Dolls are proud to use eco-friendly materials and to support charitable causes within their local community. The team say to you, thank you. We hope that your new sheep friend from Ireland will bring joy to your life. It has brought me so much joy already. So look how cute this one looks next to Grania. Oh my gosh, this sheep is adorbs. All right, you guys, this box was fantastic, not just because it was a sheep box. We got our booklet. We got our amazing cobbler recipe card. We got our Sheep of Ireland photo book. We got our sheep. You guys give me name suggestions in the comments below. We got crisps. We got tea. We got chocolate chip shortbread cookies. I mean, what a fantastic box. Oh, and don't forget this adorable little coaster. So I hope you all enjoy. Please let me know in the comments below. What's your favorite item? I mean, I mean, come on, but give this gal a name. She needs a name to join my flock and I will see you all very, very soon in my next unboxing.